Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to allow multiple apps to use the same camera on Windows 11. So starting with the Windows 11 March 2025 update for version 24H2, Microsoft is updating the camera settings with a new feature that allows to use one camera across multiple apps. This update eliminates the need for third-party solutions to share the same camera fee across different apps. Okay, let's look at the steps to enable the multiple app support for the camera feature on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, open Start and look for Settings. Then open the app. Now go to Bluetooth and Devices. Then go to Cameras. Make sure that your camera is already connected to the computer and then select the device that you want to make available for multiple apps. Then you will find this Advanced Camera Options setting and then click the Edit button. Then turn on the Allow Multiple Apps to Use Camera at the Same Time option. And then you also have the Media Type that allows you to change the camera resolution. Then click Apply. And that's it. Now you should be able to access the camera fee on multiple apps. Now to test this, I'm going to open the uh, ClipChimp app and now I'm going to open the camera. Now, because we enabled the feature, we can now access the same camera fee on another app. As you can see, now two applications are sharing the same video stream. So now if we disable the feature and we open the uh, camera app, we are going to have access to the camera fee. However, if we open the ClipChamp app, now we can see that we got the message that another app is using the camera. Okay, and that's how you share the same camera with multiple apps on Windows 11. Let me know in the comments if this feature actually worked for you. Also leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.